Um, want to turn now to the Fed, and that means it's Brian Chung's department, because we are hearing about some various Fed presidents who recently made disclosures about their stock holdings. Now it looks like they're going to sell some of those individual holdings because, you know, there were some eyebrows raised, shall we say, Brian, uh, about yeah. what they were owning. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of backlash, especially on the Twitter sphere, about the stock trading that was done by a number of Fed presidents, the highest profile one being from the Dallas Fed, where Robert Kaplan made a number of $1 million plus trades over the course of 2020. You can see uh, the companies and the ETFs that were covered in there, including Verizon, our former parent company. You can see Facebook, Chevron, Alibaba. Again, these were purchases and sales over $1 million in size. The Boston Fed President Eric Rosengren had also made some transactions in real estate investment trust. And we got statements from both the Boston and the uh, Dallas Fed yesterday that had nearly identical language. They both said that the presidents would sell the individual stocks that they owned by September 30 at the end of this month and then reinvest those proceeds in diversified index funds or cash savings. They also committed to no more trading in those accounts for as long as they serve in those roles. Uh, they did all this to avoid even the appearance of an ethical uh, violation, although they noted that they did comply with the rules at those reserve banks. It should be noted that the policies at these quasi-private institutions, because again, they're not necessarily direct arms of the federal government. The Federal Reserve Board of Governors in D.C. more directly has ties to the federal government. Uh, there, those rules at the Fed board are a bit more stringent and at the reserve banks. And it's also to be noted that the reserve bank presidents oftentimes make more money than those working as Federal Reserve governors or even the Fed chair. But obviously, uh, it seems like this is just a way for the Boston and the Dallas Fed presidents to try to get over the uh, public relations issues that came with these disclosures. Although, of course, it'll be interesting to see if maybe Fed Chairman Jay Powell gets a question on that when the Fed uh, comes out of its blackout period next week into that September 22nd meeting and press conference, guys. Very interesting. Um, yeah, I'll, it'll be interesting. He does get that question. Maybe you can ask him, Brian, the next time you have the opportunity. 